smaller person. Okay, like Jonathan's, Jonathan's younger, stronger than, than, than I am. Younger, stronger, faster than I am. Okay, so, so I need a jiu-jitsu for me. I need the jiu-jitsu for somebody that used to have a big chest, but now the chest has failed. Okay, that's me. So I need a take I need a jujitsu system that that uh, that is more beneficial or takes advantage of smaller limbs. For example, the fingers, the wrist, the pressure points like behind the arm, the triceps tendon or triple warmer uh, eleven as we might call it. Triple warmer twelve. So with this I'm going to make a demonstration of some of the techniques. And there'll be regular techniques that many of you've seen, but they'll mo I'll modify them that where they're in basically the small circle of jiu-jitsu curriculum, and I'm using fingers. So, for example, Jonathan comes up, actually come up here, so I'm up going to pull the ground so everybody can hear. Okay, so he comes up kind of, you know, it's kind of a bullying situation. He's got his finger in my face. Okay, well, what I do is finger locks. Like I said, many of these are illegal in sports jiu-jitsu. Okay, this is not life-threatening, but I do want him to hurt a little bit, and I want him to go down. Okay, so using just, just his fingers, you see the body movement that you can actually get off. There's also several transition-type moves. For example, I'm just going for, it's a thumb-to-knuckle lock that I'm doing here. Okay, another thing that actually hurts a lot is cuticle. Okay, and actually, sometimes it's like behind the back and you say, give me a hand. All you do is squeeze it, that cuticle, going into it with your finger. And again, that's not, I'm not trying to kill the guy, but I want him to do something, something in his mind type thing. The next one is all, like an all finger lock. And then a reverse finger lock. I want to get in position. So see how that became a transition type of a movement. Uh, transition type of a movement. Many of you seen a uh, center lock. You can also do that with fingers. So here's a center lock. Okay, also, you can go up and catch it for compression. Compressing the hand up against the thing. Using those fingers. But see, it don't take a lot of strength to do that. I'm not, you know, really having to go around and hit. Okay, also if it's compliance that I'm looking for. Okay, I'm just a bartender. And I, I mean, uh, in a bar, I want to protect. Let's just come along. These are called come along. Again, you notice that I have control. Like, okay, you see that? Okay, well, all he did when he hit, I raised the finger. And you saw how he just went back. I mean, he got that opposite type of, of response. So then from here, I can also use transitions with the papers. See how I got him away? I got some space. So now, I can go behind his back. This time again, I have those fingers to, to control it. So I'm in here on the finger lock. I can do that same compression I did a few minutes ago, elbow to the fingers. I can also come in with the other hand because I want to look around. I want to see if there's another opponent there to come after me. Small circle jujitsu is self-defense, so it's important to know what the other people around you are doing. Not just your opponent, but multiple opponents. Okay, so I come out another threatening type of... It's more of a bully. This is kind of a bully. You get the big guy, he comes up and he squeezes your hand. Okay, well, if you're a small guy, and you got a strong guy, like Jonathan, and he squeezes your hand, ah! Oh. Okay, so what I have to do is I have to use my full body to get him up. Okay, now it's a little different situation. Okay, because I use my whole body to get him up. And, it's, and a weak part of him, the fingers. Okay, so if that don't work, okay, I'll just take the thumb. So I'll take my hand and I'll use the thumb. Again, getting into a good position for something else. Okay, so we know some of these traditional types of holes where you do figure four with two hands. You can also do them figure four with one hand. Okay, so that because in, in small circle jiu-jitsu, it's not just grabbing, it's hitting. So I hit. 
cure him with that. Okay, also, with fingers, I can take it, and I can use this thing again for a come along. I just want him to get out of the room. Leave me alone. Go away. Okay, so, so from that, small circle also has a rich array of arm locks. And, you know, and of course, in this, I'm just showing you a small sample of the small circle technique. This is a cradle lock. Okay? So from that cradle lock, I can also go into a traditional arm bar. But within small circle, we go for the pressure points. Right behind your, your arm, there is a pressure point, triple one or 12, if you're looking on acupuncture charts. And that because uh, small circle incorporated pressure points, and primarily they come from acupuncture, is really where they come from. This point on the back of the arm is called triple one or 12. It's a hit point, and so you hit it right in there, and it gives a nice jolt for the thing. There's another pressure point right below, right above the elbow. It's not a hit point. It's okay if I hit it. It does nothing. But it does nothing. But if I roll on it, it goes down. There. And in that, it gives a rolling type of movement to get to that, that pressure point. Okay. The next, the uh, other pressure pressure uh, thing is okay. Oh, I forgot about these other guys. I need to do another lock. Oh, I got to see what's around. Me. Okay. Or I want to change around to another. One. You saw this. One. This one in our knees with a stick. Well, instead of the stick, I just use my arm and I go down. Again, rubbing that pressure point into it, into the uh, until I got the, that. The next part is again. I had the fingers for a threatening deal. Okay, it's going to ex escalate now. So what I want to do, I really want to see a choke. So now I have the arm bar behind, and I've got the choke from in front. Okay, well, if I don't like that choke, the small circle curriculum is very rich in different types of choke. Okay, here's another one. Of course, you guys saw you know, this front interlocking choke. In small circle, actually, instead of pulling up, it actually goes up and around, which really, did you see, kind of see that reaction that he gave? I don't want to do that, but actually, it hurts a lot more. It's not the sports version that we're using. Wally J was from Hawaii. He also had a Hawaii one. So it went like, like this. Of course, it's got the traditional locks, like, the rear neck and choke, the interlocking choke. You're also using some of the clothes, the uh, the E type chokes. In each one of these, the important movement is these little wrist movements. They're not the big gross hit type stuff. Just really smaller movement type things. So I'm back into this, and so I go into it. All I have to do is like grab the E, jerk him down, and I'm into a loose choke. That was not really that, that well either. Okay. Jiu-Jitsu's on the ground. I hate to get on the ground. I'm an old man. I don't like to get there, but I guess I got, since I'm showing Jiu-Jitsu, I got to show some ground stuff. But my idea of groundwork is actually them being on the ground and not me. So what I do is I'll take him, I'll put him on the ground, and use my foot to go into his Conception 22. That's a, that's the point. I came off of that because I don't want to, want to be on it. But there's a point right here that you go in and down the throat. I'm doing that with my foot while I hold a lock on his hand. I'm turning him around so you can see this. Okay, another, like I said, I want to make sure of my surroundings that I have right here. But here's kind of a dragon choke. I actually step on his face, ouch, and I go and go forward and go into a thing and I actually sit up. But notice, if another opponent comes up, I'm ready to go. I'm not, I've not committed myself to the ground. I stayed up. Okay, but it does have the traditional groundwork type, type stuff. 
So this is the, you know, ground choke. Also, the leg locks, the leg bars, a couple of variations of those. Up to mount, the piece of katami, the locks, the shoulder locks. It has all that. This ground type work, I really, I need to know it to defend myself, but I'm a type of guy, I really need to be on my feet. But that was just a sample of the techniques through the small circle uh, curriculum. Uh, we are, both of us are from American Karate Academy. Uh, Leon Jay, who is the head of the small circle jiu-jitsu, is giving a seminar in Philadelphia next Wednesday. Smallcirclejujitsu.com for any details on that or come to the booth. And uh, we welcome anybody to come to uh, AKA to join in some of our jujitsu fun. So thanks a lot.